As women achieve power, the barriers will fall. As society sees what women can do, and as women see what women can do, there'll be more women out there doing things. And we'll all be better off for it. That's according to the late American legal practitioner, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Welcome to The Advocate, where thought-provoking topics are discussed with no holds barred here on Plus TV Africa. We basically call a spade by its name. Women leadership and political participation is my focus today. Comfort is saying today that equality in human and women should not be afraid to speak. Ruth also gives reasons for the lack of women participation in Nigerian politics. And finally, Eniton, following the theme for the International Women's Day, says we must break the bias. Sit back, and after this break, the women will be here to discuss it all. Stay with us. On the 1st of March, 2022, Nigeria's ninth National Assembly, made up of 95% men, voted to, one, decline citizenship to the foreign-born husband of a Nigerian woman. A Nigerian man's wife gets automatic citizenship. Two, deny Nigerians in the diaspora the right to vote. Three, deny women the ability to take indigenship of their husband's state after five years of being together. Deny 35% appointed position for leaders. Five, deny women 35% of affirmative action in party administration and leadership. Six, reject specific seats for women at the National Assembly. All this just a few days before we celebrate International Women's Month. And this year's theme is Break the Bias. The theme highlights the fact that there remains a deliberate and conscious bias that has prevented women from excelling. It's a crying shame that at a time when all over the world, more and more women are being elected to high political offices and even becoming heads of state. From Angela Merkel, Jacinda Ardern, Kamala Harris, to the Prime Minister of Namibia and most recently Barbados, which has two women at the top of her government, namely Mia Motley as Prime Minister and Sandra Mason as President. These women are bringing unique and fresh perspectives on the challenges that their countries face and are showing innovative and effective leadership. It's at this time when the entire world is making progress that the Nigerian National Assembly has chosen to continue to see the Nigerian woman as a follower and not a leader. They want to keep Nigeria in the dark age and are insisting on relegating women to, in the words of our president, the other room. In 2020, Nigeria's female population amounted to approximately 101.67 million, while the male is 104.47 million. This puts the percentage of the Nigerian female population at 49.32%. So why then, you may ask, is the National Assembly denying us a 35% share of leadership? This is not happening just at the political arena. Even in 2022, amongst publicly traded companies, only a very small percentage of CEOs are female. This year's International Women's Day theme of breaking the barrier, or, or rather breaking the bias, is an opportunity to address and create a more gender equal world. Currently, there's a coalition of group of Nigerian women who are occupying the National Assembly and are determined that until the issues I highlighted above are addressed, they will remain there. As women in Nigeria, we deserve an equal or at the very minimum, the 35% currently denied us seat at the table. And if we don't get it, then maybe it's time that we bring our own table. 2023 is around the corner and can be a game changer. In every field and every profession, there are outstanding women who have changed the game and politics is not different. It's time that there is more female participation in politics. It looks like we can't beat the men, but we definitely don't have to join them. So let's flip 
and change the narrative. Yes, the part okay. I really liked was where you actually identified and highlighted the fact that bringing our own table. You know, as we were talking and thinking through these issues around women, I realized over the years, all the things that make us human beings as women have been relegated or described as weak or as bad. There's been narratives around so women are in, up in politics or in positions, how they dress. You know, when they're showing the Jamaican, when they're showing the president, so I, was, I was like, I was looking and thinking, at the beginning, when we're fighting for equality, women will have to wear the box suits mm -hmm. and have to wear clothes that were very unflattering just mm -hmm. so that they would not, so quote-unquote, attract the male gaze. I'm sorry, really. I think, really, really, it's time to own what we are. You are male and female. We bring different skills to the table and you cannot do without the other party. It's time to accept it. Because, Absolutely. I, mean, I, exactly. I, I really, so I think I agree with you. Flip the narrative. <laughs> um... I think for me, I, I also align with the fact that you have to bring your own table. Yes. Because really, as it stands, there's also there's already a bias that is prevalent in the system, and you really cannot. Um, you, I mean, it's, if you're going to, it's either you go against it and fight it, or you decide that you know what, I'm going to set another pace, you know, set another standard. And I guess that's what women need to do. More women need to begin to see themselves as being as capable as a man absolutely not absolutely. they're not less mm -hmm. than a man in fact, in some cases you're actually better if you look at it from school days you they realize that fight women <laughs> <They're coming to laughs> but i agree with you actually less. like mm -hmm. if academically from school days i remember my time it was the women that were topping the class from my primary up until my university it, the best graduate students in my set was if well, in fact there were two they were all females so i think like it just means that Women are doing well. But then you see that after university and everything, then the guy is flying this I way. And then the why. women are either, they've gotten to a place and they've played suit mm -hmm. or they're stagnant. So I guess it's just something that we as well as, as well as women have to think and say, you know what? My space is not ready. I'm not relegated to the other room. Mm -hmm. And my space is not just in the kitchen. Absolutely. My space is not just to take care of the children. Of course, I'm going to do all of those things, but that's not just all about me. There's more to me than all this. So I can bring as much value or even more value to the table than my male counterparts. Yes, I think that um, we have to... Comfort, Comfort, Comfort. Comfort. <laughs> do you want to say something? Yes, I agree with um, I agree with everyone, especially yes, your last point about bringing, you know, bringing our table. I think that's what resonated with me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry... I'm one of the females that does not believe that in the affirmative action being campaigned for for women. Exactly. You want to take power. You don't go and ask the person who has power exactly. and please, yes. give it you see you. this exactly. your power. Can you give me uh, some steps? You will become the puppet of the person who has put you there. And so whether we like it or not, we have our work cut out for us as women. And if we're going to be very honest, we are doing very minimal work yes. in trying to bring up the women who we want to be in this position. Mm -hmm. well, that is one. Either uh, as you, once somebody just brought it up now, um, the issue of believing in yourself, um, taking your skills on, bringing it to the fore, me and you supporting mm -hmm. more women, each woman. The narrative is also there that is a lie. And women support women. But how do we see it? Let's mm -hmm. be very, very honest. A mm -hmm. typical example is the issue of governor's wives who are supposed to be the leaders of women in their states. While we have issues at home, um, what do you call it? Uh, election is, uh, is uh, fast approaching. What was top on their mind was a trip down to another country to go and deliver a, 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 a box of cake. How, are it, how are the people you want to call, that you want to collect or you want to share power with, how are they supposed to take us serious? Exactly. So my one here, I'm sorry, issue of occupying us and um, being angry that they did not um, pass Mills, I'm sorry, I think that is we're majoring in minor. Exactly. We have to go back to the trenches. We have to go back to the trenches. We have to begin to see how do we hold ourselves accountable, responsible. I'm not even going to go into the the what do you call it now, the the degrading of womanhood in the process. Mm -hmm. In the process, in this in this whole bit of we are trying to be equal or we're trying to um, um form freedom and therefore losing out. Somebody said it were clear, where you're a man, you're a woman. We have different skill sets. There are different things that are expected of us. I'm not a woman who is a king. I'm a woman who is a queen. And until we understand our powers and harness it, 
-hmm. and we accept our uniqueness we're going to keep on this shouting at the doors of national yes. assembly i think that um, popular culture is trying to has tried over time to put us in a box mm -hmm. where um if you are a woman they you're made to sort of shrink so if for instance you are assertive then they say that you are aggressive they've put all these labels yeah. on us and made it to become negative and because we're constantly then seeking affirmation and we're trying to prove that oh i'm not i'm not bossy i'm just a leader and as a leader there are some decisions that i have to make and that's not negative we're then shrinking so that we will not be called those names you know, we're talking earlier and I was saying how, again, the men have worked on our psychology where they're making us think that, oh, politics is a dirty place. It's not for you weak women. You know, you should just stay at home and look after your kids. And then if you dare to aspire, then it's seen as, oh, a man put her there. It's because she's this person's wife or she's because she's this person. Because again, are we really sending the people on merit? Are we sending mm. people who we think are the right representatives of the people or of the women so yes i think that it's time that we change the narrative and comfort nobody is going to hand over power to us so going to the national assembly while it seems it looks nice but really we're going to ask for permission again mm -hmm. so what at what no. point do we know that okay we can form our own political parties exactly we can Let's find our own candidates mm -hmm. we can bring our own That's table cool. and decide that, that okay you want to be the president what's exactly. your agenda what's your plan for the nigerian That's world it. what are you what what's in it for me so we have That's to be thinking it. what's in it for me and mm -hmm. then that should lead or guide what we decide to do in future i mean just to add to, i mean i have a problem with quota system because in my mind the quota already says that you are actually doing me a favor hmm. you're not doing me a favor i am smart I am good. I am, I am as comfortable as my, my male counterpart. So you're not doing me a favor to give me a position. You can't do that. So it means that if I know that I'm that good, then I should look, I should look at ways in which I could actually occupy those positions. Sure. If, I, if any female goes out there and is properly funded mm -hmm. and, and decides to run for any political position, if she's good, we vote her in and she gets in. So I guess that is that narrative of having to wait for us to Tell get some yeah. things. Mm -hmm. So I think if we want to prove women mm -hmm. supporting women rights, this may be a good place to, to start. start. Exactly. <laughs> start supporting the women who are aspiring to this i mean um positions so let's 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 support each other and i mean let's push women forward um comfort is next right after this break